Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. John Lopez UK here today, and today we'll be doing a car review of the Spinia. Alright, so clearly the Spinia is based off the Mercedes Benz, uh, god damn it, the Sprinter van, the Mercedes Benz Sprinter van. Now this vehicle's added an update 9.06 to 9.08, as that has recently been released. So, uh, features about this car let's just take a look at the acceleration. Diesel, uh, diesel, no, acceleration top speed and the handling all right and uh, let's get started on these tests so for the acceleration oh it's i have to admit it is quite fast you are sure getting yourself a good deal for this for 18 8, quite fast top speeds really well can it drift oh no 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 Oh, bloody hell. Ooh, no damage. No damage. Okay, we'll be fine. We will be fine. We'll recover from that nicely. Right, keep in mind, this thing does not drift. All right, keep that in mind, viewers. And now we're going to just turn regularly. So handling is a bit off for drifting, but turning, it's, it's all right. It's got not bad of a look to it. Really do enjoy it. Like the unmarked lights in the front. Yeah, take a look at that. Spinier on the back. Badging. Alright, anyway, time to check the interior out. So, um, real nice door cards, nothing much. Oh, wow, his back's been barricaded off. I'll show you that later. Dials don't look too bad. Stereo, not bad. No sat nav, nothing like that. Two seats in the front. To be fair, not bad for uh, 18,000. Really, really detailed, I have to admit. They did a good job detailing this car. I did not make this one. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the back. Damn it! Now we're gonna take a look at the back of the vehicle because you know everyone wants to see it. There was not much detail in the front, so I'll back it up right into here, and here you guys go. Uh, just about a couple of seats, a couple of bars. You know, it's it's supposed to be like a passenger van. All right, onto the engine for the vehicle. This vehicle is equipped with a V6, I believe. And um, there's a bit of a mess up, and there is no texture for the engine bay. Yeah, that got... I don't know. Alright, now for the shooting test. As you know, we'll be using the pistol and other weapons. Results will be at the end. Enjoy. Alright, so that test is over, um, I believe around the 40 bullets range, I'm not that sure, it'll be on screen. Alright, time for the Uzi test, results will be at the end, enjoy. Alright, and that test is over, I believe it's exactly 30 bullets, it'll be on screen. Alright, and it's now time for the AK-47 test to wrap it all up. Alright, results uh, will be at the end. Enjoy. Okay, this car was absolutely awful at this test. You know what? It will be on screen. Just watch. Alright, and now for the new part of the video that we've added in 10.06 for car reviews will be the tuning for the vehicles. Alright, for this, so for this vehicle, let's go to tune up option first. Yes, I knew it. It was the 200 horsepower V6 2.5, which is actually quite fast for this vehicle, to be fair, even though it is down the spectrum. It is a rear-wheel drive, which is very odd. I least expected that. And let's go choose a random body color because, you know, I'm just feeling a bit, bit, a bit different today. So, well, that yellow was quite nice. I might just, you know what, if I can't go to yellow, I'll just, okay. No. You know what, we'll just go into colors later and we'll make it yellow. In extras, we have nothing. Uh, here are these stock setups. X offset, 0. Y offset, 0. Height, 14. Stiffness, 11. 33 radius rims and width is 34. That's all of those. And 15 ambulance wheels and tires are 15 ambulance tires. Stock real colors are white. And that's about it. I'll do a bit of tuning. And um, yeah, after that, we'll move on to the next test. Give it quite a good lowered look, to be fair. Got to change up the rims. Those originals are just... 
I like them, but they're just not good enough. Ooh, those don't look too bad. I might just, you know what, I'll choose these. I'll make it all a bit black to fit my looks, because I like black. All right, body colors. We'll make all of it yellow, like I was talking about earlier. All right, not bad look, to be fair, it's really nice. So for the bonnet, it's, yep, that's the black part, as you can see right there, clearly the bonnet. So for the back, we have black. Whoa, this is the bottom of... Okay, this is not worth it, the back part. That's, that is not a true rear bumper, that's just stupid. Doors, yep, these right here. Oh, it doesn't change the back doors. Yep, anyway, dot middle. Is this... Nothing. Is this the side door? Oh, here it is. Yeah, it is the side door, like I suspected. Nothing that bad. And then we have doors back, which, yep, yeah, it's the back of the vehicle. So, those are the basic tuning parts for that. And now we have uh, um, windows. Yep, yeah, we can darken them, make them look really nice. Polarized rims. I really like doing this. Um, They're really nice. Or we can make them opaque. I just want to leave it like this. Yep, front lip. Dark and that that's just you know a small little sun strip here. Let me make it red for you guys so you guys can clearly see it. Yeah, so a sun strip, quite basic, quite simple, but nevertheless different. Um, yep, side windows, really nice. I'll make them black. Yep, black finishes all the looks. And then for the back, if I can make this an entire yellow thing, I just want to see that. Okay, didn't come out as I suspected, but still not that bad of a look anyway. We're gonna make them. Oh, oh! We can make them transparent. That's really nice. But that would just look would look wrong. So black. Yeah. All right. And now moving on, we will go to the details, which is the rear and front lights. So the back we have. Um, where is it? Does it change the bottom? No. Is this? Bloody hell! Someone's doing a burnout outside my house. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Alright, but anyway, um, those don't do anything, to be fair. Black rims, that's not bad. Um, yep, vinyls, basic, you know. Okay, so anyway, we've finished 6,700. That's not bad, to be fair. Alright. We're just gonna go ahead and back out, and now to talk about the... If its vehicle is worth it or not. Keep in mind, my audio is very bad because I'm using AirPods. Very sorry about that. Alright, so, uh, here we are in the beautiful city... city beautiful town of Nollywood, and let's explain if the vehicle's worth it or not. So it's a Mercedes-Benz, so you're getting the quality and the luxury of basically everything. Mercedes, that's what basically Mercedes is. Luxury, performance, everything now. It used to just be luxury back then, but it's really nice, but nevertheless, it's a, it's one of the first vans from Mercedes that they're offering, which is really nice to be fair. It's It's got the details, it's really nice. It's made civilian in this game with official badging. I'm just going to maneuver my, maneuver, my, maneuver my way around. I can't say anything today. Oh, bloody hell, almost hit a cyber truck. And he just smashed into... And they're going to have... And there's going to be carnage. I... Ah, he smashed into another Mercedes Sprinter. Okay. This vehicle can be used as a police vehicle. Just... Oh, my good lord. Maybe I should get somewhere else and do this. This is... Okay. And... He's going to blow up. He's going to blow up. I don't even know where it's turned into. You know what? He's, he's going to... Yeah, he's just going to, like, blow up or something, honestly. I don't see him surviving for long enough. Alright, so... Okay, he died. But besides that, um, the vehicle, yes, is worth it. I will say, in my opinion, 180,000 for this. It's really nice, and I've just killed someone, but it doesn't matter. It's worth it, honestly. And there's going to be more chaos. Alright viewers, we are back, and uh, I decided to skip all the chaos, there's still loads of chaos going on, but basically, yes, the vehicle is worth it, it's got loads of detail, it's brand new, and it's one of the cheapest and fastest vans in the game. I mean, it doesn't offer the full six people experience with people in the back and everything, but nevertheless, it's really nice just to have a Mercedes-Benz van in the game. Like, we don't often get vans, the only other van we, the other two vans that we get are very basic and they just aren't good. This is definitely luxury, and alright, that's the end of the video, honestly. Oh, and also, make sure to follow my mate over here at, uh, his Instagram is on screen right now. Go ahead and follow him, just give him a quick shout-out, he wanted it, so. Alright, everyone, peace. See you in the next video.